Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everybody, looking at the biotech sector heading into next week, the second week of October. Looking at the daily and weekly timeframes, XBI, IBB, and LABD. So XBI and LABU charts are very similar, so we'll just look at XBI here. And we had a very clear bullish uptrend, and then we started to pull back, and it was on increasing bearish volume. The bulls held up and held this middle Bollinger Band support for four days in a row. We rejected from the 10-day moving average resistance and then saw a lot of weakness. And, of course, we need to be aware of what the overall S&P 500 is doing as there is often a strong correlation between the two. Yesterday, we had SPY closing slightly green, and the biotech sector was down 3% due to an individual name and weakness in the biotech individual companies. But usually, there's a nice correlation to be had there. So we have our lower high and lower low. We did form a bullish reversal hammer off the 50-day moving average support of 63.71, and we did bounce off this 50-day the last time we've tested it, and it's held support for a really long time. So that's a level that the bulls are trying to defend. We lost the 100-week moving average as support failing on the second back test of that level but we did hold the 10 week moving average and very clearly we're seeing higher lows and higher highs on this uptrend still maintaining strength so on this pullback it will be looking for a bullish entry opportunity until we break this higher low higher high pattern on the weekly looking at ibb it's much weaker than xbi on the whole and we'll see that clearly on the weekly time frame but it too pulled back and rather than grinding the middle Bollinger Band support, it was grinding against it as resistance, gap down, further weakness, lower lows, and we are forming a bullish reversal candlestick here, a doji as well, and still maintaining the higher lows. But you look at the weekly time frame here, and we had a lower low back here, or a lower high and then a lower low, whereas XBI was all higher highs and higher lows. And then here again, rejecting from $300 multiple times, a bit of a double top for IBB, whereas XBI very clearly a break to higher highs. So IBB, the NASDAQ biotechs, not as strong as the S&P 500 biotechs. And if we pull back and break this level of 276.55, we'll see a lower low after that double top at 300, and it will be very bearish. So LABD, inverse, and a bear of the biotech sector is seeing a higher low and a higher high, but an upper wick of profit taking today. Can't lose sight that the overall trend is absolutely bearish, so this bounce will be anticipated to be short-lived, and we might have seen our high set today. Next week will be very telling. We'll see if we pull back and backtest some of these moving average supports. You can see the weekly has just been a straight pullback all of 2016, really since February. Lower highs and lower lows, rejecting from the 10-week moving average resistance, and that's at 2076 and dropping. So if we turn that 10-week moving average into support, we will start to look for a potential turnaround. But as of right now, new all-time lows being broken, and the bears are absolutely in control of the longer-term LABD trend, which means the bulls are in control of the biotech sector. So that's what we're looking at heading into next week, looking for a short-term bounce to play out here on XBI after the bullish reversal candlesticks for the biotech sector off of some key moving average support. And they also have the long-term weekly trend. So keep that in mind, LABD short-term bounce anticipated. And we'll see if there's any more juice left in the bulls of LABD. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for the likes and the shares. Have a great weekend.